I start with a Blender tutorial for my first tutorial and I thought we'll do something easy, make a traffic light, which is quite simple, colors and lights. I'm gonna put all the lights on to start with, but uh, also I can show you how to keyframe them into changing if you want. Right, I'm gonna scale down the cube, the original cube, uh, and then I'm going to Shift Z to lock it on the Z axis and make it just a bit thinner like a traffic light bit. maybe make the X a bit smaller too. That's fine, the cube for now. In fact, I'm gonna make a material Switch to cycles on. I'm going to make a material now. I'm going to um, make it somewhat darkish grey. Um, that should be fine. So then we're going to make a cylinder and we're going to move that down. Obviously, we're going to scale that down quite drastically. And then it's going to edit mode, control R to make a loop slide. And then we're going to right click to put it back to where it should be, the center. And then I'm going to go into wireframe mode, press A to deselect, press C and select all of these ones up here. And that's not what I wanted to do. I'll select all these faces here, sorry. And I'll delete these faces. Okay. So now we've got that, which is fine. We're gonna go back to vertex select. So go into vertex mode. Select a few of these. And then scale it on the Z axis. Like so, so it's a bit bigger. Beautiful. All right, so now we've got a light, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply two new materials. And to material one, sorry, my mouse is going crazy. To material one, we're gonna make it the same material as the traffic cone. And then we're gonna make a new material, which will be a def an emission material. So we're going to edit mode, face selection with the control tab. And we'll select this face down here and just assign this material to it and we can make it green for now, as if it's the green travel light. Rotate it on the Y axis, about 90 degrees. Uh, we'll make it a bit smaller, just in case. And that's fine. So there's the dippy bit that comes out the top of the traffic light. Could be slightly better, but there's, it's not too important right now. Right, so as you probably noticed, first thing is that the green light keeps disappearing into the object. By extruding it from the back. It should go into the wall, which it has, before actually disappearing now. Like so. And you can see a little bit of green light coming out of the back there. So I'm going to actually extrude it a bit more and put it in like that. Hopefully that should do the trick. Yeah, and what I'll just do from there is Shift D and press Z on my keyboard to lock it to the Z axis. And then I'll press plus on the material button to duplicate the material. And as you can probably guess, we're just going to do that twice and move upwards with it until, and then duplicate again. And now we should have red. And apart from them being unevenly placed between each other, um, if we look in the viewer now, it's a traffic light. The only thing is, obviously, as we know, the lights would not be on consistently. And to do that, to be honest with you, it's not as hard as you could probably imagine. I'm not sure in terms of workflow yet on the best way to do such a thing. Uh, so once you've done this, I suppose you could go into your graph editor uh, or your no, uh, dope editor and copy it over. But I'm just going to show you quickly. So basically, you'd put this, say we wanted to start with a, a green light, let's say we start with a green light, we'll keyframe that by pressing I on it to keyframe it, and we'll keyframe the yellow also, if I can select it, I'm going to have to go into material mode, uh, we'll keyframe the yellow at, at zero as well, and we'll keyframe the green at, at uh, one. So what we do is we'll go to frame 20, just for the sake of maths, it's easier, and we'll keyframe all of those again. And then we'll move on to the next frame. In fact, we'll go five frames from here. So frame 25, and we'll put this down to zero now. And we'll put the yellow up to one. And we'll press I. And that's the swap over from the green to the yellow now. And then what we'll do is we'll wait another 20, which is to 45. And we'll lock the eye on there again. And we'll lock the eye on here again. We'll go five frames from here to 50. 
and we'll put that to zero and lock the eye and we'll put this to one and lock the eye. Render it, it will show me, uh, yeah, black such. And that's uh, the traffic light. Not sure if I can play it, probably just, uh, oh no, there you go. Right, and you could do the thing vice versa and slow it down and copy it. Yeah, that's basically a basic traffic light. You could add in your pole underneath or add in your pole from the top. But uh, yeah, just a quick thing. I hope that was easy for you to follow. Any feedback, please feel free to let me know. And uh, yeah, see you soon.